Hi, and welcome to Wake Up, Explore Your Passion, the show that helps inspire you to live your dreams. We're broadcasting live tonight around the world at wakeuptv.com. Tonight, we've got an amazing show lined up for you. Here's what's coming up for tonight's show. From single mom to Hollywood regular, Marlene Forte has had quite a ride. Her passion for performing shines through on both the big and small screens on shows like ER, CSI, House of Pain, and most recently, the blockbuster hit Star Trek. Marlene shares how she overcame rejection and family pressure to make her dream of becoming an actress a reality. Plus, out of the death of his beloved aunt came an uplifting realization. Inspirational comedian Ernie G speaks from the heart about his passion for laughter and how he paid for his first truck with jokes. And later, multi-talented musician Quetzal Guerrero performs his passion for us live. Today on Wake Up, Explore Your Passion. Welcome back. Our first guest for today, Marlene Forte, knew she wanted to be an actress since age 10, but soon learned that things don't always turn out the way you plan. Marlene, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's absolutely wonderful to have you here. Tell me, how did you get sidetracked along the way? You had this clear dream. You had this <laughs> goal of becoming an actress. What happened? Well, I was 10. That might, might have been even though I was very young. I was like, there's a lot of other things that had to come before I got there. And nobody in my family was in the business. So, um, And then, shortly after that, I had a baby. Very shortly after that. I hope not, not too <laughs> shortly. How old were you? You weren't 12, uh, 11? No, no. I was 18 years old. Um, okay. Just barely out of high school. That um, does mix pl the plans up a little bit. Yeah, it? it kind of slows things down a little bit. Yeah. Um, I married my high school sweetheart, and we played house for four years. So um, I had to have I had to find brilliant ideas or ways to make a living. I did go to college. I just barely had gotten out of college when I um, when we got divorced. Mm -hmm. So um, I had this brilliant idea that if I was my own boss. I could act. And of course, acting, theater, and film. And what did I want to do? So I thought, oh, you know what? Video stores. Now I'm aging myself because it was <laughs> pre-blockbuster. But, but you're not aging yourself that much. And the beginning of the video video world. And, um, and then I opened up a little video store in my hometown in Jersey, in North Bergen, New Jersey, called Archway Video. And I ran that for six years and didn't act a lick. So, so let me get this straight. You wanted to be an actress. You knew that yes, at the I did. core of your being. Yes. But you opened a video store instead. It's. I have to give you credit. It's still in the same ballpark. Yeah. I just have a run to wipe. But hey, Tarantino did it. You were just in the right? nosebleed seats. Exactly. At the back. I was. I knew I was getting. I was in the in the stadium. I just yeah. had to work my way up to the stage. So what happened? When when did you have your wake up moment? When you said this is just not working out. This is not what I had intended. Well, I was approaching 30, and um, Blockbuster had hit the scene, and you know business wasn't the way it was anymore. And I thought, you know, I, I'm going to turn 30 and not do what I want to do in my life. Yeah. Um, so I turned to my parents. I said, I am selling everything, and I'm going to um, go across the river, the Hudson River, uh -huh. and I'm going to go to New York. And because be you lived in New Jersey. I li I'm a Jersey kid, yeah. Okay. I'm, I was born in Cuba, but I was raised in... Um, in Union City, New Jersey, West New York, Hudson County. Well, well. So, so uh, what I want to understand, though, is um, at this time, did you continue with the video store? Were you still managing it remotely? No, or? no, no. It was really mom and pop thing. I oh. went to New York. My mother ran it for a little while, and then. Um, my mother doesn't know anything about videos and movies. Really? <laughs> really? No, she still watches telenovelas and, you know, <laughs> she's very loyal to Spanish television. So I thought, you know, it's time. And so I sold it and I, you know, rented a room with uh, Maggie Bofield, who is a very dear friend of mine still and part of Labyrinth Theatre Company. And that's really where I learned. I, I, I was an English major in college, so I didn't even study it in school. And they were holding auditions for uh, a Latino actors based um, a new troupe that was starting off. Mm -hmm. And so I auditioned and I got in. And we met every Wednesday for three or four years. And I learned about movement and voice and 
just learned everything. And Marlene, you did all of this with a kid. You're a single mother, you're managing your family, your home life. I'm sure there was homework, soccer games. I mean, I don't know yes, what Yes, kind of yes, activities. no soccer games, but ballet <laughs> lessons. <laughs> a lot of ballet lessons. You know, I had a, I had a, um, I, I do believe, everyone says it now, it's very hip to say, you know, it takes a village to raise That's a right. child. And it's very true. It's well, you were certainly fortunate in that so many people don't have that luxury. Yeah, I had my family. Well, Marlene, we are getting ready to talk more about your career, your, your work on CSI, ER, all of these exciting shows you work with. We're going to hear what it's like to be the transporter chief of a Starship Enterprise when we come back here on Wake Up, Explore Your Passion. Don't go away.